Rose Makers, welcome back. Today we're doing a lovely scenic painting today with a moon, a tree, some water, reflection. Very, very pretty. My paint colors today are white, yellow, red, blue, and black. I have some mixing plates to mix up all my colors. I have a water can to wash my brushes off, some paper towels, and I'm using four different types of brushes today. Not all are needed, I would say maybe three are absolutely needed. One big square flat brush and one of these two brushes, a medium square brush and a medium flat round brush. Then we also have a small round pointy brush for all of our fine detail work. First step for our painting is our background. We have three different blues that we need to mix up. So we are going to grab our big square flat brush and a mixing plate. Our lightest blue is going to be about one to two scoops of white and a very small touch of blue. Now this is going to be fairly light baby blue and we want to mute it just a touch. So we're actually going to grab the smallest amount of black you can possibly get just to gray it out a touch. All right, that's our first blue, our lightest shade. Our next color is going to be a medium blue. I'm not going to clean off my brush. Just going to grab a scoop of blue, a small touch of white, and a small touch of black. Mix, mix, mix. You can see these two colors are very contrasting. Now my third blue, I'm going to clean off my brush and we're going to be making a midnight blue with one scoop of blue and a small touch of black. It's going to be your darkest blue color. Now to start off with this dark blue at the top of our canvas, we are going to be throwing in this dark blue right at the top edge. We're going to bring it down a couple of inches um, and we want to work quickly because we're going to be doing some blending. So as soon as we get this dark blue in, we're going to grab some of the medium blue, not going to clean off my brush, just going to go right into it, work it right underneath the dark blue and then slowly bring my brush up into the dark blue, back down into the medium blue so that they start to blend together. You can see I'm working from side to side and I am making a nice smooth application. Then I'm going to clean off my brush and we're going to be getting into our light blue. And we're going to be doing the same exact thing that we did with our medium blue where we put some right underneath and then blend upwards and back down into the color that we are using currently. Now we're going to bring this light blue down um, a decent amount, probably around here, a nice middle thick section of this light blue. Then we're going to get back into our medium blue and we're going to blend a line or two of this right underneath of our light blue. Lastly, we're going to be getting back into our midnight blue. I might have to mix up some more. Um, but lastly, that midnight blue just all the way down to the bottom edge and blend up into your medium blue. Now, while my background is still wet, I'm going to be grabbing my medium square flat brush and I'm going to go into my medium blue and throw a couple streaks of this throughout the center light blue area just really roughly and then I'm going to grab a little bit of water on my brush to help blend it in more we want this to give this illusion of fog or of mist or of clouds Last step for our background, we're going to be adding some stars. So with a small pointy brush, we're actually going to use the handle of the brush. Dip it in your white paint and just simply poke where you want your stars to be. We are going to focus in the dark blue, medium blue area um, on the top two corners of our canvas. And then in the middle top section of our canvas, we're just going to keep those stars in the dark blue area. Thank you. 
Now, before we do anything else, our painting does need to dry. Give yourself about 10 to 15 minutes before we do anything else. Now that our painting is dry, we're ready to get started on the moon. So for the moon, we are gonna be grabbing our flat round brush. This is great for making circles. Um, you can use any brush to really draw out a circle, but I find this one the easiest. We're gonna be mixing up a light yellow with a scoop of white and a very small touch of yellow, sort of like a banana cream color. Now our moon, we wanna make sure that the bottom of it is not in the center of our canvas. So if you eyeball the center, go up about an inch, make your first mark, and then make a mark underneath of your stars. That's pretty much how large your moon should be. We're gonna make a nice, even circle. Circles are tough, so take your time to try and make it as perfect as you can. Once we have our moon in, we are gonna be then taking our small pointy brush and we're gonna be adding another color to get some texture in our moon. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of red on my brush, barely any. Add a couple of tick marks around the outside edge and with that same tick mark motion, we're going to blend it into that same wet, um, light yellow paint over and over and over again. We're gonna keep the color concentrated to the outside edge of our moon. And as our brush runs out of the paint, we're gonna be adding those tick marks towards the center of the moon and it will start to um, fade away or blend away. Now I wanna add a little bit of brightness to the center of my moon, so I'm just gonna take some pure yellow paint on my brush and work some of it just right in the center using that same tick mark motion. Next step, I'm gonna clean my brush and we're gonna be getting back into that midnight blue. If you need to mix up more, go ahead and do that now. We are gonna be drawing the land that goes to the center of our canvas. So eyeball the center, we're gonna draw a line right across, try and keep it as straight as you can, using very light pressure so that our line is nice and thin. From there, we're gonna add some lumps and bumps to the top of that line, and we want it to be really thick right in the middle, right underneath of the moon. Next, we're gonna be grabbing our square flat brush that's medium sized in the same color. We're gonna be adding the reflection of the land in the water below using straight little tick mark lines that are really short at the top of the water and get longer and longer as we get down to the bottom of our canvas. You can see I'm using just the blade or that tip edge of my brush so that the lines are nice and thin. This almost resembles sort of like a triangle shape or an upside down tornado shape. Now I wanna get the reflection of the moon. So I'm gonna clean off that same brush, get back into my pale yellow, and we're gonna be adding tick marks of this yellow just on the edges of the blue tick marks that are in our water. Next, we're gonna add that sort of pinkish color to our water as well. I'm gonna grab a little bit of red, add it into that light yellow color, maybe even a touch of white if it seems too dark. This light kind of peachy pink color. We're gonna add ticks of this just to the side of the yellow, and some of those lines can even overlap some of the yellow lines so that it's sort of mixed together. the last part of our painting is our tree with our small pointy brush in that midnight blue color. We're going to start off by drawing the trunk of our tree. Now the trunk you want to make sure you have very light pressure at the top and add a little bit more pressure to your brush at the bottom so it's thicker down at the bottom of the tree trunk. The tree trunk does peek into the moon and then we have four branches that are sort of like fingers up at the top. 
Now to get the leaves, we're simply just going to tap our brush over and over and over again in this lovely bunch right above our branches. And you can make this as full as you want. It doesn't even need to have, um, you know, the leaves. We could even do maybe blossoms. Maybe you want to have a different color. But that's the last and final step to our painting. Once you are done, don't forget to sign your painting. Make sure you claim your artwork as your own. Be proud of your masterpiece. And we'd love to see what you're painting at home. Feel free to post on social media and tag us at muse underscore paint bar so we can check it out. And if you want to see more from our channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And don't forget to always paint outside the lines.